All right, here we are, Prince. Whenever you need the ship, Prince, just stop on by. I kind of would have liked to take Lund to the blacksmith, but it won't let you, so... That's just the way it is. So now we want to head back to Rainwall. Well, I guess we could appraise that bonsai, though, though it's probably the same thing, I'm assuming. Yep. So I guess I could sell one just to get out of the inventory. Like, whatever. You sell it for half the price you, you paid to have it appraised, so it's not like we're getting a profit out of it, but... Yeah. I think if we go in here, we might be able to seize. Yeah, there, 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 there's some new characters in here. Ah, if it isn't His Highness, let me whip you up something delicious. What would you like? You gotta love that hat and that stash. Come on, man. Your Highness, you gotta try the fish. He ain't gonna be able to resist one of Retzo's meals. If you remember, Retzo was one of the uh, cooks in Sukoden too, for the whole cook-off thing. It's not me. We've got a good river with beautiful fish. Nothing more. Aw, oh, come on, Retzo. He ain't gotta be all modest. Tarnation. Everything's so damn good. Always end up ordering more than I can eat, though. Ain't no way I can finish. You have a problem with Dad's food? No, 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 Shunmin. You got it all wrong, Missy. I love your pappy's grub. So that's Shunmin. She was mentioned in the whole cook-off thing in Sukoden 2. I raised that fishy myself, you know. I cleaned it myself and even brought it out here myself. And now if you don't eat it, that means the fishy died for nothing. Aw, oh, Shunmin, you gotta believe me, Missy. It weren't that I... That's enough, Shunmin. Excuse me, kind sir. Nah, Shunmin's right. Dad taught me that life is precious. Well, it is. That's right, Shunmin, but next I've got to teach you the importance of manners. Daddy! Um, er, uh, it's looking like some princely advice to come in handy about now. Eat up. You're right, Prince. I'd be disgracing this here food if I didn't scarf it all down. Enjoy it. Mmm, all this talking's making my stomach get a growling. Time to dig in. Shunmin, be nice to your pappy, you hear? Mister. I will. Please don't feel like you have to finish, sir. Aw, oh, don't you worry, Retso. With grub this good, I can stuff my face here all day. Alright, everybody's happy. The freshwater fish in this country are gorgeous. It'll be a delight creating dishes with them. Don't you worry, I can finish all this. I'm a rap fleet man. Good times. Welcome to our restaurant, Prince. We've got the tastiest, yummiest fishies in all of Felena. Alright. That's good stuff. So I think you want to come here to, 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 to see that cutscene, though you, you can't recruit either of them just yet. But I think you want to see that cutscene for now. I don't, I, I don't know if you have to, but... I think it's good too, either way. It's kind of interesting, Cyro, even though he's recruited for now, he stays in that shop. Because there's not really anywhere f for him to go right now. Until we have our own place. If you know what I mean. Bum, bum, bum. Almost made it without an encounter. 
But you, you know that's not gonna happen. Go ahead and try this one. Wild Wolf, attack first. Yeah. So it, so it lets your entire party attack first, regardless of speeds. So that's cool. Levelage! Though I do like the, the, the other one, it's definitely one of the best in my opinion. Crescent! Alright. Back to Rainwall. So we want to head back into the mansion and talk to Solemn. <laughs> Yes, and the mysterious woman is still here hanging out. Why? Who knows? Who knows what she's doing? What she's up to? Oh, the soundtrack is so good. It's just too good. And we're back! How's it going, dude? Oh, -ho, your royal highness, the prince, and you brought good news with you from Raftly. Yes, yes. Not exactly. No, but it was informative. Informative, you say, your highness? Ha 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 ha! My my, listen to you, your highness. You don't have to smooth talk anybody the way I do. If things didn't go well, you need only say so, yes? Well, I suppose there's no danger of Raftfleet going over to the enemy, so we'll let the issue rest for now, yes? Ah, and speaking of important issues, I've asked our esteemed Ahod village artist to design our army's flag. Oh boy. Oh, I'm sure it'll be a heroic and magnificent flag, something befitting a majestic army led by His Royal Highness. I'm uh, looking forward to it. Oh, yes, with such a proud banner representing your cause, your highness. We're sure to gain the people's support. Well, 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 you must be ever so exhausted. Come, get some rest in your room, your highness. You deserve it. I have a few matters to attend to myself, so I will take my leave of you, your royal highness. Yeah, have fun with that, dude. Why don't you go hit the buffet? Oh, I almost forgot. Forgive the bluntness of my query, but what does your royal highness think of my daughter Lucerina? The only good in your family, basically. She's a lovely girl. Oh, lovely. Oh, his royal highness thinks she's lovely. My, my, my daughter will be pleased indeed to receive such high praise from his royal highness the prince. It may be unseemly for her own father to say this, but that girl really is a daughter to be proud of. Her beauty and kindness are both unrivaled in Rainwall, and she's far more competent than most officials. We can agree on that. To be honest, she practically runs her entire territory all by herself. I don't doubt it. She can be a little too rigid at times, but that could change. Say if she were too, oh, I don't know, full in love. Your Royal Highness, I would most appreciate it if you would get to know my daughter better. Much better. Let's just say it would indeed be of great benefit to all parties involved, Your Highness. Ha 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 ha. Well. Alright, so let's head into here. I suppose we could... We could store our potted plant. That wouldn't be a bad idea. Potted plant. Put away the stuff we don't, we we really don't need. And I. Uh, uh, all right. Bum 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 bum. So before we head into our room, you, you can go talk to Yurum for an interesting conversation. 
Oh, your highness, here, let me show you my masterpiece, my opus, my monument. Oh, God. To think they've locked up the poor innocent alluring princess just to sully her good name. Those contemptible godwins are going to pay a price most grievous for laying their hands upon her. Uh-huh. We simply must get the princess back, your highness. I shan't rest until she's safely in my gentlemanly arms. I don't think so, sir. That's not gonna happen. Alrighty then. Not good. This is not good at all. That old geezer is bossing us around left and right. And he won't share any information with us either. He probably just wants you two to be figureheads. Exactly. Hmm. I'm so damn tired of being a figurehead. I guess we're not really in the position to dictate demands, though. Uh-oh. Yes? Who is it? Excuse me, may I come in, everyone? Lucerina, is that you? Yes, come on in. Always nice seeing Lucerina. I deeply apologize for bothering everyone so late at night. Excuse me for my bluntness, your highness, but... Did my father say anything strange to you? Everything he says is strange. Strange? Like what? Well, it seems my father thinks his highness and I should... Well... Ah, say no more. He wants you two to get together, eh? What? Hehe. <laughs> well, actually, you two would make a really cute couple. Lady Sialides, please excuse me, but this is no laughing matter. No, you're right. If that's your father's goal, then it's definitely a serious problem. Especially for reasons he wants it to happen. Yes, and that's why I needed to talk with you about it immediately. I think my father wants to set himself up for power after this conflict by becoming his highness's father-in-law. Exactly. He might be my father... But I can't believe you do something like that. It makes me so ashamed of him. Lucerina. Hmm. <laughs> Nobles are all the same. Well, we don't have to worry about the whole marriage deal this very second. Right now, our main problem is that we're basically the marionettes for Lord Barrows, the puppeteer. It makes me wonder what we're really fighting for. If you're in danger, your highness, it means the whole of Felena is in danger. I told him he shouldn't try and take advantage of you in a situation like this, but he just played dumb with me. That sounds about right. Hmm. <laughs> I bet if Raja were here, she'd say that we should have known to expect this from that old snake. If only we had a tactician on our side. A brilliant tactician who would have had your best interest in mind, Freja, not Lord Barrows. But it's not going to be easy to find someone like that. Yeah, it's not like there's any Silverbergs floating around. Actually, there is one person I know who fits your de who fits your description. A woman, actually. She worked behind the scenes to help repel the Armas invasion eight years ago. Farad and Raja just did exactly what this tactician told them to, and it brought them victory after victory. In just one month, Armas was completely annihilated. This woman's talent was almost godlike. Sounds good to me. You're talking about. I can't talk right now. You're, you're talking about Lady Mersis, aren't you? Funny. I don't remember ever meeting a tactician like that. That's because she's no longer at the Sun Palace. In the Uprising, Lady Marisus incurred the Queen's Wrath. 
She advised Her Majesty not to use force too hastily. And as punishment, Her Majesty ordered Lady Marisus to be incarcerated in Agante Prison. She's been there ever since. That's not right. Sounds like Lady Marisus isn't just smart, but also reasonable. Exactly what we need. But with her locked up in prison, probably not much we can do. Agate Prison, huh? Where is that exactly? Um, Lady Sialides? What? Oh, sorry, I wasn't paying attention. Look, I'm getting pretty tired. Let's continue this tomorrow. Um... Lady Sialides, we weren't quite... Nighty-night. Well, I guess that's that then. I smell a prison break a-brewing. Bum 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 bum. Cornelio's over there. Oh, Prince, good morning. Lady Sileads is still sleeping. And it looks like George went out somewhere. I haven't seen him anywhere. So, what would you like to do, Prince? I don't know. Why don't we ask everybody about Lady Mersus? So Cornelio's over here hanging out, for whatever reason. Blast! Where can the rest of those witless story meals be? Why must they hide from greatness? Confound those mediocrities! Oh boy. That's exciting. Are you still in here? Yeah, you say the same thing. Nobody cares what you think, sir. Hmm. Hey, Boz, what's up? Hey, good morning, your highness. What's that? Lady Marisus? Sure I know her. She's a master tactician. Got one heck of a head on her sh shoulders, I'll tell you that. Why, if she were here with us, we'd have Godwin beat before breakfast, an armist after lunch. Heh. <laughs> Shame we don't have her, though. Yeah, well. Hey, Dime, what's up? Good morning, Your Royal Highness. Lady Marisus, I've never met her personally, but I know she is a renowned tactician worthy of respect. Her strategic thinking helped the soldiers of Sable repel the armist invasion eight years ago. She would help us tremendously if we could, if we could to persuade her to our side. I don't know why a two was put there, but okay. Whatever you gotta do. Farewell. May your journey be safe. Um. What are you doing? My my, is this true? Did you really venture to Lord Lake, Your Highness? That was most unwise. If something were to happen to you, how could you avenge Her Majesty's heinous death? I must ask that you not stray so far again. You can't begin to imagine what sorts of dangers are out there. So it, it took Cornelio and the elves out of our party, so if you want to put them on, which I would recommend since we don't really have anyone else, I think we gotta go into Lucerina's room. There she is. Good morning, Prince Frasia. What, Agate Prison? I don't know much. All I know is it's located on an islet in the Fatus River, and it's only accessible by boat. You aren't thinking of doing anything dangerous now, are you? Of course not. Oh, you can't, Your Highness. Agate Prison is far too dangerous. Probably. You wish to change your traveling companions, do you? Yes, I do. Not, not that we have much of a choice. Cornelio and the Elves. Remember, mediocrities! The Doremi Elves are our highest priority! Actually, they're not, but... Yeah. 
Fasola! Bring me fall! It's trading. This person is better suited to other tasks. Oh, you've got a use for an old geezer like me. So he has trade-in. Alright. Trade-in. I believe that lets you trade in an item. If you're full on space, you can sell. I think that's what that is. I could be mistaken, it could be something else, but I don't know. Okay. So, what we need to do now is head to uh, head back to Raftly, but I think we're going to call it some recording session here. Boom, 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 boom. Do, do. Because we have quite the journey ahead of us. It's a pretty awesome journey, but it's quite the journey. So I think we'll save that for next time. Because we're going to be going to Agate Prison, which involves huh, a lot of stuff before we even get there. So you want to make sure you're prepared for all that. So, when we come back, we'll be heading back to Raftly to make use of a boat. So, thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you next time for more Sukoden 5. Good stuff.